Welcome back to the Crypto Wild channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, Bitcoin is forming a brand new bullish pattern on the smaller timeframes that we need to be paying attention to. We're also potentially getting very close to the bottom of this correction, and this chart shows us why. But we still have some bearish signals to pay attention to that I will be covering later in this video. So definitely make sure you're sticking around all the way to the end of this video so that you're not missing out on any of this important information. And just before we jump into it, make sure to leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, you might as well subscribe with notifications turned on for more update videos just like this every single day. But with all of that out of the way, let's get straight to what this video is about. It's right here on the Bitcoin US dollar chart on the four hour time frame. And as you can see here, Bitcoin has obviously continued from that rejection at 60,000 further to the downside, right into this exact low here, coming in at around 55 and a half thousand. And with this recent wick to the downside, technically speaking, Bitcoin has formed a lower low, but looking in the four hour RSI, you can see here that right now we are forming higher lows. So at the moment, this is a bullish divergence forming on the four hour time frame for as long as the RSI simply remains above this previous low just here coming in at around 21. And for the beginners out there, what a bullish divergence actually means for Bitcoin is basically it shows us that the sellers are losing momentum in the short term and we do for a little bit of reduced selling pressure. So that can either come in the form of some sort of sideways consolidation like what we have seen over the past few days or a bit more of a bounce back to the upside. But keep in mind, we have huge resistance at 60,000 and we were expecting resistance at that level even before we found resistance at that level simply because this was huge support in the past and as the subscribers already know by now when we break below support that usually flips into resistance and that has played out again this time around but this price range which by the way is between 58,000 and 60,000 that is only one reason why the $60,000 level is resistance and another reason why that level is resistance is by bringing out the 130 exponential moving average on the four hour chart which is right now coming in just above 60,000 US dollars and this exact EMA it was previous support multiple times back here during this uptrend for Bitcoin all the way up until here. As you can see, we continue to find perfect bounces along this level around a week and a half ago, just before we finally broke below that level. And the moment we did that, that was when the bearish price action really started to kick in. And once again, I was letting you know about this moving average before we even broke below that level, basically saying back here that this is huge support. But if we break that level, then I expect more bearish price action to come into play, at least down towards this range right here. And once again, previous support flips into new resistance. So that is also coming in pretty close to 60,000 US dollars. But that is not all. There's actually a third reason why 60,000 US dollars is also huge resistance for Bitcoin, at least in the short term. And we can see that by bringing out the VP VR indicator, because what we can see here is the fact that we had a huge volume cluster starting at around 60,000. So this just means that there was a lot of traded volume coming in at just above 60,000. And basically for the beginners out there, these clusters of volume can act as either resistance or support. So obviously if they're to the downside, they will be acting as support. But considering the fact that this volume cluster is to the upside, this will be acting as resistance. Once again, starting close to 60,000. So 60K is definitely the level to break in order to flip bullish again here in the short term. Until then, technically speaking, we are in a short term downtrend. But I want to make it clear, all of this is still only looking in the short term. In regards to the larger timeframes, like the daily charts, technically speaking, we're still in an uptrend if you're looking at the big picture. And another reason why 60,000 US dollars is very important is because that is the neckline for a potential W pattern that is possibly forming right now. I want to make it clear that this pattern is not confirmed right now. We're still only forming the pattern, but at least it's something to pay attention to because as you can see right now, at least at the time from this video, Bitcoin has already formed the double bottom for the W pattern. All we need to see now for Bitcoin to confirm this pattern is simply have a move up towards 60,000 and that would complete the W pattern. And then obviously a break above 60,000 is really what we need to see in order to set up the bullish price target. And by the way, if Bitcoin can do that, if we can break back above 60,000 with confirmation, then that sets up a technical price target towards around 64,000 US dollars, just above 64K, which by the way, from the point of the breakout at 60,000 up to that price target, you're talking around a 7% gain. But from the current Bitcoin price at the time from this video to that price target, you're talking about a 13% gain. So obviously that would not be a bad opportunity here in the short term. But once again, we definitely need to break above 60,000 before that price target even comes into play. Now zooming out to the daily timeframe for Bitcoin. And as you can see here, Bitcoin is still technically playing out this bearish 
divergence on the daily charts, which by the way, is very similar to what happened back in September. As you can see, we actually had a bearish divergence back in August that led into the September correction. And this September correction brought us right down to the 120 day SMA before we found huge support at that moving average. And looking in the daily RSI, we were trending to the downside while we were looking more bearish here and the Bitcoin price was looking quite weak up until the daily RSI reached this exact level right here coming in at 34, which is exactly where we bottomed out this last time back in July. And at that stage, the RSI on the daily charts then started to trend back to the upside. And so when the RSI did that, and also when we saw that bullish cross in the daily MACD, they were all confirmation signals on the chart telling us that we are bottoming out and getting ready for another major move back to the upside. As of right now, the RSI is very close to that same sort of level that we saw last time. But keep in mind, we don't have to bottom at the same level as what we saw back here. But looking in the daily MACD, we haven't seen the bullish cross just yet, meaning that technically we do have a little bit more room to the downside, at least just in the shorter term. The RSI on the daily timeframe also backs that up with a small amount of room to the downside. And looking in the price action, what we see here is the 120 day SMA coming in at around 52,000 right now. But remember, it is ascending to the upside every single day. The Bitcoin price is above this moving average. So let's just say if we take a few more days to get down towards that moving average, then it could be coming in at more like 53 to 54,000. And that would also align with the fact that technically speaking, we do have a little bit more room left to the downside in the RSI and the MACD. And so just going off where we bottomed out last time along this exact moving average, we technically have a small amount of room left to the downside in the Bitcoin price. Now, remember, nothing in these markets is guaranteed. So just because it played out like this back in September, it doesn't mean we're going to see the exact same thing this time around. So these levels might not necessarily be the bottom. But with that being said, they are huge support for Bitcoin. And also considering the fact that we have this previous resistance point at around 53,000 US dollars, which will now be acting as major support. And also the lower the daily RSI goes down towards oversold territories, the more confident that I get that Bitcoin is beginning to bottom out because you can see here basically every single time the daily RSI reaches these very low levels, these are almost always amazing buying opportunities, especially while the overall trend on the daily chart is still trending to the upside. And for any skeptics out there that might be thinking that we're in a daily downtrend, that is certainly not the case right now because all you need to take a look at is the highs and the lows. If the price action is making higher highs and higher lows, we are clearly trending to the upside on the daily timeframe. So even though we're seeing a short term downtrend on the smaller timeframes, that's only in the shorter term and that price action is only temporary. But with that being said, we do have a bit of a bearish signal at the moment to pay attention to over in the stock market. This is the S&P 500 index on the daily timeframe. And what we can see here is a bearish divergence currently playing out. And we've also just seen a small bearish cross in the daily MACD for the S&P 500, meaning that we potentially have a little bit of bearish price action ahead of us. And remember, if the stock market is looking bearish, then it is very difficult for Bitcoin to be looking bullish because in most cases, believe it or not, Bitcoin and the stock market are pretty correlated with each other. Obviously, it's not a perfect correlation, but for example, taking a look at the S&P 500 during this time period just here, when was that? Well, that was back during September, exactly when Bitcoin was also seeing a pullback. And then the stock market started bottoming out at the end of September and we started looking bullish again in the beginning of October, exactly when Bitcoin started looking bullish again. And Bitcoin more recently only really started to experience bearish price action in around the middle of November, right here when the stock market was also starting to experience a little bit more bearish price action, taking away from that strong uptrend that we were seeing during October. And this short term bearish price action in the stock market right now is likely caused by the DXY, the US dollar currency index, which is what this chart is right here on the daily time frame, by the way. And as you can see right here, the US dollar index has been heading to the upside recently, which basically means that the US dollar is gaining in strength, aka rising in value. And for the beginners out there, if the US dollar is gaining in value, that's actually a bearish signal for anything that is paired against the US dollar or valued against the US dollar. This is even the case for foreign currencies right now. For example, if you're looking at the British pound or the euro or the Australian dollar paired against the US dollar, right now they are dropping against the US dollar. And that's just because the US dollar right now is gaining in value. So these other currencies or assets like the stock market could be doing nothing at all and in reality, just staying at the same value, but because they're valued in US dollars, which are right now rising in value, it makes it seem like these other assets that are valued against the US dollar are losing in value right now. And that is exactly what's happening right now to Bitcoin against the US dollar. And that's also why the stock market and Bitcoin have their correlation. It's because both of them are most commonly valued against the US dollar. So basically, if this DXY chart continues looking bullish here, then it would simply be very difficult for Bitcoin to be looking bullish. And so I'd be keeping an eye on this chart. And the moments this starts flipping bearish again, that is when it's very likely Bitcoin is about to 
bottom out and get ready for another major move back to the upside. Another sign right now showing us that we are potentially close to the bottom for this correction is the Bitcoin fear and greed index because as you can see right now we are sitting in fear and usually the closer we go to extreme fear the closer we are to the bottom. Now it's important to mention that not every single bottom has to hit extreme fear but as I said over on my Twitter when we see maximum pain that is usually giving us the maximum opportunity that we can get for gains in the future because historically speaking when the majority out there are panicking and getting really bearish and starting to completely capitulate those are the times that you get assets like Bitcoin at extremely undervalued prices because in those cases the prices only really get there after a lot of people start panic selling Bitcoin and so the more people that you see panicking in the markets and starting to flip extremely bearish with using these sort of comments that is how you know that we're getting close to the bottom but anyway that is it for this video if you enjoyed or got something valuable out of this video make sure to leave a like down below and if you're new to the channel you might as well subscribe but with notifications turned on for more update videos just like this every single day as always i honestly appreciate all of your support in the channel at the moment i can't thank you guys enough and before clicking off make sure you're checking out these videos just here if you haven't seen them already because in these videos i talk about some of the top altcoins out there with huge potential and already since uploading these videos we have seen a few of these altcoins explode in value but anyway that is really everything i've seen for this video i really hope you enjoyed and i'll see you all in the next video